I'm eating fruit snacks, don't mind me. That's so damn bright. Pavilion. I'm like, you looking at me. Get out of here. Someone store one hat in here. Well, that's not very hospitable. Oh, goody! So oh, hell! You seem to have your wits about you. What fun this will be! What the hell? For me, at least. Oh, no! Revelia. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. Oh what? God. Who's there? Bro. Damn, what I enter the shining? Oh, what the f here, here, yeah. I don't like mannequins. Lumos. Hmm. Seems as if I should hang something there. These lanterns must belong somewhere. are meant to be hung on the hands. Oh my God, I already figured that part out. It's just beautiful. How is it The speedy one. You might survive a bit longer than the other. Bro, who are you? Are you her husband, bro? Dang, she out here giving, um, uh, she giving, uh, 
Lumos. Damn, I got a big ass head. She, gonna, she out here giving the poop poop to, to ghosts? I know Casper was friendly, but damn. Oh, you've come so far so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the saying? Two sides to every storm. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides hear it to my story. And you'll have really? to complete both to get to the end. Pavelio. Asshole throwing couches at me. Who, who does that? I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. I already don't like where this is headed, so let's do this. Actually, no. Confringo goes faster. Confringo! I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Yeah, but where are they? Oh no, 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 no. How the hell did this turn into a horror? What the hell is this? Oh, I'm afraid of the dark. Does it worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me? Not, Miss Lotus. It should. The furniture. Oh, yeah. Shut up talking. I don't want you getting too comfortable. Crap, crap, crap. Do I? Isn't I just here? What is this tomfoolery? Revelio. Where the lamps at? Huh. 
Uh, yeah, I tried it. One more time for the blind! Ah! Okay. Um. Hmm. Rebellion. Wait. Yes. Magic is very buggy in this place. Gotta be another lantern in here somewhere. Revenia. I'm not fighting the Riddler. Ah, a worthy playmate. Well done, me. Nope, nope, no. Hell no. Fight him. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh, night to H3. 
Well, I don't know how to play chess. Nighty night. <laughs> you don't drop me in the middle of Sorcerer's Stone, bro. Ron, where you at? Same funny. Oh, I see. Yep, I thought so. That was the wrong square. Too difficult. Oh goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. Actually, I'm starting I think to get around a bit longer. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little annoyed. To be a hundred percent real. Like the spook of this is starting to wear off. Now I'm just getting pissed. I ain't coming here for all of this. What the hell is that? Is that a werewolf? Oh man. Plants. Well, I got the venomous tentacula. Endurance potion, just in case they get a little rowdy in here. So Did this bitch slap me? Much to do, much to do. See you in a bit. Oh my gosh. My my man slapped me and then took off. Alright. Let me find a way to take you out, bro. I'll be double dead. Best me. Let me guess. Okay. What I thought was gonna happen did it happen. To I gotta actually find the lanterns. Excuse you. Dropping paintings on me and shit. It's always good to have a different perspective on things. The heck? Oh, girl, I didn't tell you to drink that. Revelio.
Okay, what's the point of this room? I don't get it. Dude, you are mad annoying, like, oh my gosh. Don't knock my damn headset off. God damn it. Go ahead and take that off right I'm so confused. Like, there's no hints, no nothing. It's just explore. Matter of fact, man, I think about it, I'm stuck here. It's not letting me leave out of this particular area either. Rebellion. Oh, this is killing me right now. This is not telling me nothing. Highlighting. Uh, 
Revelia. Guardian Leviosa. He really on that bull right now. What the hell? <clears throat> Boy, you put me in a room of requirement. What the hell you got me doing? I can mess with the creepy music. Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. I was wondering that, but I didn't want it to flip this room that I'm standing in. Where's the lantern? Okay. Oh, come on. I'm dumb as hell. Whole window right there. I was about to say, I'm like, y'all did not cheat me like that. Let me keep this. Yo, powder puff. Robots and no pay make one quite dull indeed. Bro, what are you on about? The less furniture you can throw at me, the better. Oh, hell no. Stop it. You better stop. You better stop it. Oh, deja vu. What? Son of a bitch. Pavelio. Lumos. Damn it.
running in circles, are we? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. Lumos. What was that? Fuck! Out of here! Y'all better stop with the bull. No, 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 no! From Florida! Can I get a Lumos Maxima up in here? Revelio. Lumos. Here we go. Oh, how nice of him to pop in. Get away from me. Get away from me. <clears throat> from Barda. From Barda. Nope. Barda. Simplify. Where? Show yourselves. There you are. Confringa. No. Can't hide from me. Crucia. Come on. Y'all got going in here. Oh, sweet toe. I'm glad you will love Elsa. Where you at, man? I need your vacuum cleaner. What the hell? Oh. Whoa. God. I'm over this. 100% over it.
Damn, what am I about to do? Resurrect Voldemort? He ain't even dead yet. clever friend appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and do you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, I'll leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get your shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent. I didn't agree to that. Let the games begin. Well, what you want now? Challenge? How the hell am I going to challenge? Catches, catch, guy, but catches, catch, I mean. Whoa, you're fast. Arrest on Memento. Bombarda. Oh, no, Confringo. The hell? Defender. Oh, that did not bob him. Arrest on Memento. This supposed to be an elephant? Confringo. Arrest on momentum. Oh, come on. Hmm. You back up off me. Defender. Back up. Hmm? Stupefy. Stupefy. Woo! Woo! Arrest the momentum. Nope! You tried it. You're kidding me. I'm a gamer, I do this! I'm literally laying on the floor, upside down. Okay. Stupefy. <clears throat> oh no. Superfly. Well, well, finally, someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about that contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? 
Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract, with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. Well, let me have this. I bit. have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. I'll see you, bro. You on that ball, ball for real, but I'll see you, though. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive me. Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased the shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. So she had an enchantment on her, keeping her from talking, huh? Wonder if there's a way to break it. Cause I purchased that shop, and I fucking did that whole bullcrap challenge just now. What in the hell? All right. And I purchased the elf. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. It's all over I... my face. Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. Well, yes, yeah, she said she did, but I think you missed the bit about the dungeon. No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And according to the house elf that came with the shop, she's done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? 100%. I'll hit that bit with a super five I got to. She got my money. And I planned on owning that shop, so... Watch if she had moved out or some bull crap like that. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Why you got your wand out? It's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. I knew it. Oh, I'm on you, B. Arrest the momentum. Defend up. Bring up. You can apparate mid battle. What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? <laughs> More than you can ever know. Oh, 
Bombarda. Confrida. Accio. Now. Carusio. I should have known better than to do business with a wily student. Whoops, wrong button. Of course, you problems. You tried to have me committed. Crucio. Simplify. Barda Crew Where'd you go? Crucia Suffer for all the pain you've caused me. Bombarda Maxima. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Second, that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Smoney little traitor myself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Ha! Show us up. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best yeah. of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend oh. and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. Hmm. Masters and Venom, Gladwell and Brewster, Stitches and Drops. It's between Stitches and Drops, Investors and Venom. I choose drafts. stitches and drafts. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. 
Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. <laughs> oh, you're wearing a hat now. <laughs> That's so cool. Hey. Hey. I run this. What you got for me, Penny? Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I can legit go back down there. I'm cool. I'm cool for real. That haunted maze crap was not for me. I bought it, didn't. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's just exhausting. 